Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <gasps> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <clears throat> Wait for it. Go! Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ooh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. <laughs> uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Aw, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. <gasps> the job I was born for. <laughs> so what are we looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know it when I see it. Something... Lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. John Whittles. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Hmm. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet. 
Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What, you mean steal it? It's not like anybody is going to miss it. Couldn't you steal something that doesn't feast on the tears of orphaned children? <laughs> well, it doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. I could never resist a deal. Behold. Everyone's... Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! <gasps> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? Excuse you? Do you really think I'm the kind of girl who would just send foot pics to anyone? It's always the quiet ones, Max. Always. <laughs> it was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... You okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot.
Wow. Ballet service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Shit, are you okay? <laughs> oh. I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Mac. Mac. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. <laughs> so, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. Mm. That Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Oh, guilty. Flirting is like a foreign language to me. You spent all those years on the road meeting new people every day and you still can't tell when someone's into you? I don't know. You don't meet a lot of suitors in abandoned buildings. <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? I mean... We were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then we weren't. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. For now. Forever. <laughs> now change the damn subject. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? Ugh, fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lakeport. Amanda's a total catch. Half of lakeport doesn't have what you have. 
a softie. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl. What the... I'm so fucking over him. Ah, undergrads. Oh, obnoxious. I kind of like it. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. <laughs> oh, man. I should I be able to, to break the ice now. On board. I wonder not if that anyone... Having... Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off. So, I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. <laughs> I got this. Bathroom. Now. You are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here, or go home and let my dad drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature pranks and ragers. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in a Braxis is not being in a Braxis. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> Oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. So, you're a 
Misery Cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your rec on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, pretty big. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey baby, I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> so, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um... Ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so... Zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date, then. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are a total blur. <laughs> but Amanda's really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> She's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I give for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? 
Oh my God, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? I don't know. Me and Moses out in town without you? Think of the wild times you would have missed. <laughs> Lakeport's most notorious party animals. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Well, one out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big. But I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me. I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn. I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to- I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Even when he's just crunching no. Hey, Moses. Casually lean on the tele- Let's go. I might knock it over. Pretend. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Sophie, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead.
Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Hey, Safi. Mm-hmm. Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And... A publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> That's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. Be right back. So, uh... Would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. You never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is... Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. Think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. What a perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Safi tomorrow. <laughs> nice. But... Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Don't get to take a shot like this every day. This is not a test. Max! The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. I caused this! I caused all of this! Max? Hey. hey! Hey, are you okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! Sophie, she seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Oh, Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... Safi? Safi? Hey. You okay? Don't say that! I won't trade you! No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck.
Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Again. Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers! You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane! No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems. And more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met, My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit! I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. Now to take care of downstairs. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. One of the last things I got from Chloe. It wasn't an invitation. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Max. I'm here. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. <sighs> I know. Why would anybody want to... I mean, she was just... God, how embarrassing. I'm falling apart right in front of you. Sorry for it. Don't you dare. You are hereby ordered to be nice to yourself. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food! Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I... 
Don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. Shit. That came out wrong. My thoughts have been kind of... It's cool. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear drink you under the table the same way again. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. You know, you're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious... How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. I'm... Incredibly sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? <sighs> Nothing like what you've experienced. No. Inshallah you never have to. I wanted to talk to you face to face. Uh, if possible, doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you.
Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. It's all yours if you want it. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key. Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? An eye for detail, huh? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. <laughs> and? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Unfold me? I might not be able to fold it back. Where is this going? I see. It's a haiku. I wonder who made this. It's just... All been so... I'll head over to Admin to see Yasmin soon. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. 
I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? <laughs> you think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See... I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. This must have the package Ven was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Gwen? All good? Uh... Max... I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. 
I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins? Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Hold on now, you might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Actually, she said she had a finished book, and that a publisher had made an offer. Why? You're kidding! Oh, good for her. She must have been proud as hell. Thanks again for the help, and don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. I'll head over to Admin to see Yasmin soon. I don't know if I can trust you. Oh, Loretta must have left this to finish uploading. Damn. Girl's got a lot of fans. I wonder if Yasmin is ready for me yet. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like a husk right now. I I need a minute. Yeah, sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, 
They're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but I kind of gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself, or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes, the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi. Safi loved. Safi was the most thoughtful person I ever knew. This is the one. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta, jeez, you scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. 
What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. This isn't really a great time, Loretta. We'll be done before you know it. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. <sighs> what a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. Stories? More like rumors and gossip. I don't even know where to start. I thought... pulling into myself would dull the pain. But it didn't. I'm just... so sick of feeling sad. How else should you feel? Sophie's gone. And there's nothing we can do about it. Listen. The last few days have been hell. But we're both here now. And we're going to get through. I just... I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner, or called her when she didn't come back. Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? I've spent the last two days asking myself that. Over and over. I don't think there's a good answer. 
What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Sophie weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Sophie disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. It can be anything. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ah, oh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Max. Good to see you. I'm not sure Sophie would want you to give kids frostbite on her behalf. Sometimes it's easier to process grief as a community. Oh, is that what you're doing? You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? I can't really talk about it yet. Not like you. Would someone else like to speak? Great. Diamond, please. Come on up and share with us. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting him up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. Y you know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. <laughs> hey, I have a question about Safi. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I 
I don't think I can pretend she's still here. That what happened didn't happen. Neither option seems tenable, does it? Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactically. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him? Come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowball's down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Where is that other Moses going? Gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. is going. What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our Coco. Sophie? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating on teacher rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'd charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her.
Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Will you give me a break? I haven't done this supernatural bullshit since high school. It's not like riding a bike. Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Jeez, there you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death.